Mysterious Shark Disappearances Sharks are some of the most notorious survivors on our planet. Their ancestors can be directly traced back hundreds of millions of years, and, according to National Geographic, they have made it through at least four mass extinctions and are older than even the oldest fossil forest. However, as successful as they may be, scientists have discovered that they used to be even more plentiful in the oceans of our planet, and that 19 million years ago, some mysterious event decimated the shark population so drastically that they have never been able to recover. Recent analysis of denticles or shark scales found in fossilized samples on the sea floor has revealed an astounding array of shark species. These samples are abundant and impressively varied in the geological records dating up to around 19 million years ago, after which point the population of sharks in the open oceans across the entire globe mysteriously decreased by over 90%. Considering that sharks only suffered about 30% loss during the famous mass extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs, Scientists now know that an incredibly large, worldwide event must have occurred to be able to affect sharks so drastically. However, the truly strange part is that an event that large should have left a mark in other places besides just the shark population. But, amazingly, nobody knows what that event could have been. There are no other markers of such an extinction in any species so far studied and the event is not chronologically near any known major climate shifts or major evolutionary changes. And, although the cause of this strange extinction is not immediately apparent, what is clear is the effects that such a dramatically reduced population had on the other open ocean animals. Following the extinction and the immediate removal of such a large portion of formidable ocean predators, an incredible amount of diversity appeared in groups such as fish, whales, other sharks, and even seabirds, who were able to evolve much more rapidly in the absence of a large number of sharks prowling the seas. Alarmingly, it appears that in the intervening 19 million years, sharks were never able to fully recover from taking such a mysteriously large hit, and a study published by Nature has found that the number of sharks in today's modern oceans has continued to fall. Even more concerning, this decline has sped up in recent years, and since 1970, the total number of sharks in the oceans has decreased by 71% and continues to fall. The discovery of the initial hit to sharks all those millions of years ago has just served to underline to scientists the importance of top-tier predators on their ecosystems and how precarious their positions truly are. It is increasingly likely that this majestic and historically incredibly adaptable species will not be able to withstand the effects of overfishing, environmental pollution and climate change. One thing is certain though, and that is the fact that marine biologists will be actively looking into the results of the mysterious, isolated mass shark extinction and how it affected the ocean ecosystems as we enter the age of several potential mass extinctions. 24,000-year-old organisms found frozen in Siberia can still reproduce. Biologists have made a shocking discovery. A never-before-known microscopic creature that has since been called an evolutionary scandal. The organism has been asexually producing, living and surviving for the past 24,000 years in Siberia's permafrost that is famous for its myriad of mysteries, having preserved endless findings. Deloid rotifers, all-female multicellular microbes, already thrive all across the world in moss, freshwater, ponds, lakes, soil and tree bark. Rotifers are resistant to radiation, starvation, low oxygen and extreme temperatures of either freezing cold or scalding hot. They are truly amazing creatures to study, as they can freeze their entire metabolism at will and enter a state known as cryptobiosis, or hidden life. According to researcher Stas Malavin, it's a state kind of between life and not. The Russian Soil Cryology Lab has found many variations of such microscopic creatures, such as the 30,000-year-old nematode worm in the very same Siberian permafrost. The rotifers in question, however, have been dated to 24,000 years old. Before this finding, it was believed these microbes could survive 10 years frozen, but not more. These rotifers coexisted with mammoths and woolly rhinos, both of which are long since extinct. 
Malavin claims that once thawed, the microbes began to reproduce. It's currently unknown what exactly allows these creatures to survive for such vast periods of time in ice. Malavin states this discovery provides the science world with more questions than answers, but every step is closer to the truth. By analyzing these rotifers, biologists would be able to discover new, innovative ways of preserving living cells for cryopreservation. We could find out how to keep human tissue, cells, and organs alive under ice. Malavin states, Humans cannot preserve organs and tissues for such a considerable time. These rotifers, together with other organisms found in the permafrost, represent a result of a big natural experiment that we cannot replicate, so they are a good model to study further. A British professor of zoology at the University of Manchester, Matthew Cobb, claims that there might be all sorts of organisms and animals frozen in Siberia's permafrost, which will come to light sooner than later with the way global warming is slowly melting the ice, but additionally states, that doesn't mean that terrifying things are going to come out and eat us, but it gives scientists the possibility of studying how the rotifer has adapted to resist the bad effects of freezing and the opportunity to explore the difference between existing species and their predecessors. 110 tombs discovered on Nile Delta If you know anything about Egypt, you might also have heard about the River Nile, which is the longest river in the world at a whopping 6,695 kilometers. Because it historically has flooded during the full time, it brought plenty of nutrients to the surrounding soil. This created perfect conditions for the ancient Egyptians to grow crops and thrive. Even today, the river remains a crucial source of life for people. In fact, more than 95% of the country's population needs it to survive. Because of how important the river was to the Egyptians spanning thousands of years back, it may come to no surprise that many burial practices took place along the Nile Delta. However, the number alone might shock you. Just recently, excavations have uncovered over 110 tombs near the delta that span over three eras of ancient history, including the pre-dynastic period, the Nakada III culture, and the intermediate era between the Middle and New Kingdoms. Along with the tombs, archaeologists also stumbled upon other old objects, including parts of stoves and ovens, the base foundations of long-gone brick buildings, jewellery, pottery pieces, and even scarab amulets, which represented renewal and rebirth in the Egyptian culture. However, the graves were certainly at the spotlight of attention upon the day of discovery. Sixty-eight of them were oval-shaped, which linked back to the pre-dynastic style of the Lower Egypt civilization called Bhutto. The bodies were in a squatting position with their heads turned to the west. Among the deceased, a baby was found to have been buried in a jar, which was a practice that still continues to confuse researchers today. One line of reasoning was that the body may have been fragile, so the jar was needed to protect it from the elements. Another interpretation relied on the idea that a jar was almost similar to that of a womb so it could be symbolically reasoned that the baby was returning back to Mother Earth. Next were the Nakada graves, numbered to only five in total. Similar to the Butos ones, they were also oval-shaped pits that were carved into the sand. Some even had extra layers of clay to bolster the surrounding sides. Most impressive of the entire collection was arguably the Hyksos tombs, which were semi-rectangular pits instead of ovals, and had a depth of about 8 to 33 inches. Instead of the bodies resting in a squatted position, they were extended instead, with their heads pointing westwards as well. Another chard was found, but this time in a clay sarcophagus instead of a jar. These graves also contained other fancy artifacts, including silver rings, funerary vessels, and even a special seal that contained a hieroglyphic inscription. No doubt that discoveries such as this one are perfect for enticing tourism back to Egypt, but perhaps most important of all is the new discovery's imminent legacy to the ever-continuing mystery and beauty of this magnificent civilization throughout history. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.